Hello everyone and welcome to the second installment of my Fallout 4 roleplay introduction. Uh, basically this is just a video to tell you the details of my new and upcoming Fallout 4 modded survival roleplay series. Um, in the first video I talked about the different mods and gameplay restrictions that I'll be using in the series so if you want to know about that stuff um, do go watch that video. I'll leave a link in the description and on the screen at the end of this video. And if you didn't watch it yet, um, the reason I'm making these videos is just so that you all know what kind of Let's Play the new series is going to be. Um, I'm actually calling it a role play this time because I will be role playing my character much deeper than I did in my first Let's Play with Shane. Um, I will be role playing 100% of the time. Um, you know, with Shane, I would leave character sometimes to talk about the different mods I was using or different game mechanics or whatever. But this time I will not be doing that. So to tell you all that stuff, um, I will be making videos like this one periodically throughout the series uh, when needed. Um, but sh shorter ones, though. <laughs> they will probably be much shorter. Um, this video um, is going to cover my character creation, backstory, and perks and stuff. So um, obviously I will be playing a female character this time. Um, so first I will tell you a little bit about her and her history. Um, so this is Ellie Archer. Um, she grew up in the town of Cambridge and uh, lived there pretty much her whole life. Um, she had one brother named Thomas who was a couple years older than her and they were best friends growing up and remained close even through their teen and college years. Um, Ellie had a heart for helping people even as a child. Uh, she grew up wanting to be a doctor and as a teen she devoured anything she could read in regards to medicine. Um, but when she finally got into medical school she discovered her extreme intolerance of the sight and smell of blood and just how strong her gag reflex could be. Um, the occasional cut or scrape that she got as a child didn't bother her. Um, it's when there was a lot of blood that she would feel it. Um, she tried to push through it though hoping that she would eventually get over it but it did rob her of her enthusiasm since she began to dread a lot of her work and so eventually she ended up dropping out of medical school. Um, so without another plan she moved back to her parents house and got a job as a waitress at Anna's Cafe in Boston. Um, and meanwhile her brother Thomas had joined the military and so she would visit him occasionally at Fort Hagen where he was stationed and she ended up meeting all his army buddies. Um, one such buddy was Nathan Archer. Um, Ellie thought he was handsome and funny and they ended up having a lot in common. Um, she tried to get visits to the fort as often as she could, uh, more to see Nate now than her brother. Um, and after a couple of months uh, just hanging out with the rest of the guys, Nate asked her out on their first date. Um, after that, they saw each other as often as Nate's military duties allowed. Um, Ellie worked at Anna's Cafe for over a year before she finally got sick of it enough to do something else with her life. Um, she still had a passion for helping people, but didn't know what she could do to fulfill that. Um, Nate suggested that she start volunteering at the local homeless shelters and hope houses, at least until she could think of something else. Uh, she thought that was a great idea and, you know, while she didn't make any money doing it and, you know, she was still living with her parents, she did feel fulfilled. And it was during that time that she witnessed what she thought was a gross injustice you know, that catapulted her into her future career. Um, while working at the Hope House, she met a woman who was single, uh, recently unemployed mother who was in a terrible and hopeless legal battle with her ex-husband's father. Um, she couldn't afford a decent attorney because she had no money and her state provided attorney just uh, wasn't doing a good enough job and you know she just knew she was going to lose the fight. Well Ellie wanted to help the woman and so she did a bunch of research into the Commonwealth's legal system you know hoping to find some answers. So this ended up inspiring her. Um, she found a new passion in law um, so she eventually decided to go to law school um, but she wanted to become a lawyer that you know anyone could afford uh, you know offering competent legal services to low-income families so that she could help those like that uh, woman that she had met at the Hope House. 
Um, during her first year of law school, she still lived with her parents, but after dating for two years, um, Nate finally asked her to marry him, and they moved into a residence at Fort Hagen. And life was grand for a while. Ellie did well in school and graduated a few years later. Um, setting up her own law firm and getting clients, however, was not easy. She struggled with it at first and didn't make a lot of money, but she loved doing it nonetheless, and uh, her passion kept her going. Uh, a year later, um, after she graduated, um, Ellie finally became pregnant with a baby boy. Um, but the joyous news was soured when only days later, Nate received deployment orders to join the fight against the Chinese in Alaska. Um, Ellie spent the next seven months of her pregnancy alone, but her work kept her quite busy. And uh, during the Battle of Anchorage, Nate was wounded in the leg and spent three weeks in an army hospital, after which he was discharged and sent home, only a month before his baby's arrival. Um, they decided to buy a house in the suburbs north of Boston where they could raise their family, and those first few months were the happiest yet. However, that's when the Great War happened, and that, as you all know, is where Ellie's story really begins. So that is my character's backstory in a nutshell. Um, so you can probably guess that my play style this time is going to um, be pretty much good guy helping people whenever possible, simply because that's Ellie's personality. Um, so the Minutemen are going to be, you know, very appealing to her since they help people. Um, Another thing to remember about her, and I mentioned this in part one of this introduction, um, is that she doesn't have any combat experience like her husband does. I mean, she's maybe fired a pistol once or twice in her life when Nate took her to the shooting range. But she's she never got good at it um, or even comfortable using weapons. Um, also remember that she can't uh, stand the sight or smell of blood, so <laughs> surviving in the wasteland is going to be a challenge for her at first. Um, but I'm really looking forward to playing her because I've never played a scared, incompetent character in a game like this before. Um, you know, usually when you play a game, um, especially a game like this one, um, you play a confident character who already knows how to use all the weapons and is brave enough to charge out there with a gun in each hand and and you know that's more or less how I played Shane in my first Fallout 4 Let's Play but I wanted this new Let's Play to be completely different from Shane's playthrough you know Ellie isn't going to stay scared and incompetent of course um She's going to learn how to fight and learn how to survive, and that will be a part of her character arc throughout the series, but at first she's not going to know that stuff. Anyway, so um, let's talk about specials and perks now, because I will not be choosing perks on camera once the roleplay starts, so um, because that's sort of an out-of-character thing, you know, she's not... In real life you wouldn't level up, so you, <laughs> I'm not going to show uh, choosing perks. Um, but um, I did want to give you guys a general idea of where I'm going, uh, going to be going with it. And, you know, occasionally I might show off her, her current perks when I do these little behind the scenes videos down the road. So, um, so first off, um, now, now these choices are based almost entirely on the role playing aspect and somewhat on the technical aspect and, and for the challenge. Um, uh, people quite often ask me in in my first let's play, um, why don't you use this perk or that perk? Well, because it doesn't fit my character, that's why. Um, this is not a get all perks type of playthrough and none of my playthroughs are because I'm always role playing. Um, you know, and some I will be choosing on purpose just because I usually play with them in my other playthroughs and this time I want the challenge of playing without them. Uh, but first, I will talk about the specials. So her starting specials will be as follows. Uh, two Strength, Three Perception, Four Endurance, Seven Charisma, Five Intelligence, Five Agility, and Two Luck. And here are the reasons I am choosing these numbers. Uh, for Strength, well, I'll be 
playing a fairly average woman. She's not going to be super strong, and I'm also um, going to be personally restricting the number of aid items and ammo that she can carry for realism's sake, and to make survival more challenging. Um, I talk more about that and my reasons for doing it in the first part of this uh, introduction series, so if you want to know more details about that, go watch that. Um, so I don't plan on taking any strength perks at all. Um, you know, which would be very challenging for me because I usually max out strength and strong back. Um, but let's see if I can do without it, huh? <laughs> if, if I find the strength bobblehead, you know, I will pick it up, but that, that's about it. So this will definitely be a challenge for me. Um, and why two strength instead of, you know, just one? Well, I want to be able to carry some junk items, you know, for building with, so... I do want to have some strength, and that's why I also won't mind picking up the strength bobblehead. But anyway, that's a whole different subject that you can go hear about in the first uh, installment of this of this introduction. So anyway, for perception, um, I wanted to start with at least three so that I can get the locksmith perks, um, and that will be about all I choose in perception because I don't plan on using vats in this playthrough at all. Um, I used Vats quite a bit in my Shane playthrough, you know, to the point where he was super overpowered when using Vats. And then I had to stop using it just to bring some of the challenge back into combat. Um, so in, in this new playthrough, I want combat to be very challenging and using Vats would just make it too easy. Um, you know, for me, I don't know if it's easy for other people, but for me it is. So I just don't want to bother with the Vats. Um, you know, and I'm also going to pretend that Ellie doesn't know how to use bats. I mean, <laughs> she's only using a pit boy for the very first time. She might not even know vats exists, you know? It's it's not like anyone showed her how to use it. She just picked it up off a skeleton right before leaving the vault. So, yeah, you know, maybe maybe sometime down the road if combat proves to be too challenging and I want to start using vats, I can role play that she discovers it and learns how to use it on her own. Um, in which case I would eventually put more points into perception, but at first it's going to remain at three. Okay, so for endurance, I'm picking four because I want her to have um, decent health and stamina, and I will be using the special book in Sanctuary to increase that to five, and I will be increasing endurance occasionally when I level up. Um, the idea behind this is that Ellie is a pretty healthy person and fairly fit as well, since she probably had a daily workout routine. Um, and, you know, being in an extreme survival situation 24-7 would actually increase her endurance. Um, the endurance perks I might choose are toughness, life giver, and eventually rad resistance. Um, these probably won't be priority perks though, so I probably won't be ranking them up very quickly, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, so charisma um, with seven points it is the highest ranked special that I'll be starting with. Um, now, so since in my last Fallout 4 playthrough, Shane did not have very good charisma. He had, I think he started with three or something, I can't remember. Um, I thought it would be fun to switch that around this time. Um, Ellie is a pretty charismatic person and pretty persuasive, which served her well as a lawyer, you know. Um, the charisma perks I plan on getting are Cap Collector, Black Widow, Attack Dog, Local Leader, and Inspirational. Um, that is, of course, the order they appear in the perk chart and not necessarily the order in which I'll be getting them. Um, I mainly wanted local leaders so that I can set up supply lines between settlements and, and build shops and workbenches. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to be using dog meat all the time in this playthrough, so I think attack dog might be something to consider too, maybe. Um... For intelligence, I wanted to start with at least five so, so that I can get the scrapper perk. Um, but also because Ellie is a smart and educated person. I mean, she went to college, she was studying to be a doctor, she's a lawyer. You know, she's got to have some smarts. Um, but she's not an ace by any means. She, um, 
you know, there are definitely people smarter than her. So I probably won't be putting any more points into intelligence simply because I won't need any perks below scrapper. Um, you know, scrapper, you get scrapper with, with rank five. So um, I will definitely be getting the medic perk you know, to reflect her medical knowledge, and I'll be also be getting gun nut just so that I can craft gun mods. However, um, this is more of a technical reason than a roleplay reason. Um, Ellie herself will not know how to mod guns because, you know, how, why would she? <laughs> um, however, I will roleplay that her guns are modified by other people that she meets who do have the skill. You know, they'll do it for her. Um, so in order to role play that I I need to have the perks to do it and pretend they did it anyway um, and I will probably not touch hacker because you know she's not inclined that way um, I chose five agility because I want to get action girl right off the bat and you need five um, agility to get action girl um, as I stated before Ellie is a fairly healthy and fit person um, so she would be able to recover her stamina pretty quick after a sprint. Um, also, I want to play a fairly sneaky character. You know, Ellie is not going to be competent out of the world or in combat, at least not at first. So she will be sneaking a lot. So I will probably max out sneak. Also, she will be using mainly pistols. So I am definitely going to be putting points into Gunslinger. Um, I may also eventually put points into Mr. Sandman and Ninja as she gets better at using her gun. And last, and in this case definitely least, um, is luck with only two points. Since I'm not going to be using bats, I, I see really no reason to invest a lot in luck. I did want at least two points so I could get the scrounger perk, but that's about it. Although, like with Perception, um, if I do end up working Vats into the story immersively, then I would obviously start putting more points into luck, but, you know, it will stay at two otherwise. And um, so there you have it, my special points and perk choices for the upcoming roleplay. Um, if you want to know more about the survival aspects of my playthrough, I highly suggest you watch part one of this intro series if you haven't already seen it. Because in there I talk all about the gameplay restrictions to make survival much more difficult and the restrictions I'm putting on myself to make it more immersive as well and about the various mods I'll be using to help with all of that. And I do talk a bit more about Ellie in that video as well and also a little bit about settlement building too. So so go check that out. It's, it's kind of a long video, but yeah, I hope you guys can enjoy it anyways. Um... Anyway, that should do it for this video, you guys. The next video that you see on this subject will be episode one of the new roleplay. And I'm excited because this is finally happening after more than two years of promising it to you guys. It's been actually probably closer to three now. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys will watch it. <laughs> anyway, you all have a good day and we'll see you very soon. Um, until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.